What is up guys, it's me with KWIS and we are back again with another video. And as you can tell from the title, uh, Demon Slayer. I don't have to say much more, do I? So I know this episode is a little late, um, but like I said, I'm not going to push myself to make these videos. I will be putting them up if and when. I don't want to like rush myself, burn myself out. So I just, uh, so I took my time so I can provide you guys with the quality content that you deserve. And also a little change I'm going to start making to these videos is I want to make it a bit more structured. So I'm going to like have main talking points I want to go over throughout the episode and then put them in chapters as you should see on this video right now. So like if you want to see my thoughts in one particular section, you can skip to that. You know, when I talk about whatever, you don't know where to find it. And to start off, the first thing I want to talk about in this episode, well, before we get into that actually was so like I said in the Attack on Titan discussion video, which you haven't watched already, you should go and watch that one. I did plan on uh, giving some reactions in the video as well, but the recording got scuffed. I don't know why. The footage is basically unusable, so there were going to be reactions for, for this for this one too, but unfortunately not. So next week's episode, well actually this week's episodes, I guess, uh, we will be getting those reactions as well because I fixed the problem. But the first thing I want to cover is, so while I was actually watching the opening, when I was watching this episode, um, you would have seen the reaction, is I noticed in the opening that another demon was in the opening that wasn't Daki, that Tengen was, so Tengen was fighting this demon in the opening, and I was like, what the fuck? Wait, is there going to be another another demon this this season that turns up another upper rank maybe? And then obviously in this episode we find out. So first off, uh, Nezuko's rampage uh, was kind of I didn't like it. I'm gonna be honest. Um, obviously I liked like the action was cool and everything. I was like, yo, Nezuko's going ham. But I just I didn't like like I liked it on a spectacle as 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 a viewer watching anime. But as a fan of Nezuko and her character, I was just like, Nezuko, please stop, you know, because she's just getting way too into this. I, I miss cute baby girl Nezuko um, running around in the forest. And this was this was just like, I was just like, oh, this is it, it was hard to watch. I think that was the main. It was just like hard to watch because I'm just like, she's laughing and she's stomping and like, it was lit. Don't get me wrong. Like, Daki deserves this. And, you know, Nezuko was just going in and like growing up. Like, like I said last week, I wasn't a fan of like the growing up Nezuko, but then since then I've seen a few cosplays and it's changed my mind a bit. <clears throat> yeah, it was it was just it was just insane. And then you know, um what is interesting now is I believe there was a point in the episode that Nezuko ended up scratching a human. You know, she ended up scratching one, she she hurt a human. Um they they were bleeding and they were scared. And what is interesting about this is I can't remember exactly what the I think it was the contract said between Urokodaki and Giyu. Um, but if it was something along the lines of Nezuko harms a human, Urokodaki, Giyu and Tanjiro will all take their lives. Now I can't remember if it was harms a human or eats a human. I'll have to go back or someone in the comments can just correct me on that straight away. But that's that's interesting now because Nezuko has her human. She was actually going to go and eat that human because of this, this transformation she's gone through. And I, I don't know if this is going to have implications for the future because, you know, Nezuko has harmed a human. Um, I believe Tengen saw that as well. And, you know, he was a hasher. He was there at the meeting. So he he knows what's up. And then you have the part with like Tanjiro trying to restrain Nezuko. And he's just like, Nezuko, please stop. And he sings the lullaby and it was, he's struggling and it was kind of cute. And we get to see Tanjiro's mum again. And, you know, Nezuko just the, the, the crying and all that. It was, it was just like, it was just a nice wholesome moment. And it's nice to get Nezuko back. And she's a real small Nezuko now, which is really cute. And then my favorite moment of this episode, one of my favorite moments of Demon Slayer in general is just Tengen, who's we, my fucking G, my fucking goat, my father, fucking zooming in, zooming through get straight forward he's like here tanjiro i am here blah 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 like you're not looking real flashy right now bitch um just like like looking like just he's just so f oh, i can't give a how fucking cool he is seriously i just i can't but yeah he just he just turns up right um and then one thing that like shocked that i i think i, I think a lot of people that that would have seen this for the first time like myself were just like really shocked by it. so when obviously he zoomed past he's in front of Tanjiro and Nezuko now and um he's like where's the upper rank demon and then Dark he's like I'm right here and then he's like no you're not you're not upper rank you're too weak and I was just like 
Excuse me, because I'm I, obviously as someone who's been watching the past few episodes, Darky's been wrecking shit right now. Um, almost killed Tanjiro. Obviously, Tanjiro just power up and almost killed her. Um, and then Nozuko transformed, and you know that these two are kicking the shit out of her. And then, so what's saying here, like, well, she is an upright. Like, look at her eye, like she is right. And then, um, her head just falls off. Like as Tengen popped up through the room, he just he sliced the fucking head off that fast, that easy. And I was just like, holy shit. Um, so one thing that I kind of like about that as well is the fact that it makes Tanjiro and Nezuko's bullshit power-ups a bit more believable because we've seen how powerful upright demons are. They have killed multiple Hashiras. Um, we saw a, we saw Akaza kill uh, Rengoku not too long ago. So we know how powerful these guys are. So to see Tengen dispatch of this one really quickly, obviously we know it's Gutaro that's the that's also her brother and whatever the fuck. Um, but we know that that's going to be the main uh, struggle for Tengen now. Um, it makes their bullshit power-ups a bit more believable because, like, I guess Darky is like one... So I don't know the, the, the true form between these two, but I'm guessing Darky and Yuzaro, they are related. They are two... I guess they're the, the two of the same upper moon. I, I, I really don't know how it works. Um, and Gutara is the stronger half very clearly. And Darky's just a bit weaker. So she may not be a true upper rank by herself. Who knows? So I like how I made like their bullshit power ups. Not as like, for example, like Tanjiro couldn't do the same thing he did to Darky with the bloodshot, whatever. I think they call it blood rage. Uh, do that and, you know, kill Akaza, right? Like he wouldn't be able to do that because Darky is probably significantly weaker than Akaza and Kyutaro might be closer in strength. So anyway, Tengen shows up, does the thing, and he's just like, where's the upper rank? And then Darky starts crying. She's, you know, she doesn't, you know, disappear. Her body's still there. Like, what? Well, I wasn't like, what the fuck is going on? And then a moment that literally gave me chills. And I think everyone that watched this episode for the first time probably just sat there with an oh shit on, like an oh shit look on their face was when she just screams, brother. When she just screams that, you knew, you just knew something really, really bad was about to happen. And then in comes Gutara, who I, I like how I'm not the only one who notices like his his similarities to Zenitsu as well. Because one of the one of the things that still sticks in my head is when you know Tengen mentions, "Oh, I have I have three wives," and then Gutara loses his shit about it, like just like Zenitsu, and I guess a lot of us as well. Because I'm, I am supremely jealous of Tengen, and I will not shy away from that fact. He is cool, and he has three wives. And Markio is just anyway. And then yeah, uh, the fight begins, and I cannot wait to see how this one plays up. Uh, Inosuke and Zenitsu have now turned up, so I'm assuming somehow they're going to help, but I don't know how because Gutaro is a fucking monster right now. We know how strong upper ranks are. We've seen what they can do before. So I can't wait uh, for this week, next week. By the time I upload this video, it's probably this week. So I can't wait for this week's episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please let me know <clears throat> if there's anything I missed in this video that you also want to discuss in the comment section down below like i said that's what these videos are for it is a place where you can discuss the most recent episodes without fear of spoiling anyone so uh go go wild in the comment section please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one